electrical blackouts and transformer fires have been on the increase ever since the DHS and FEMA put out a report that the U.S. electric grid was vulnerable to cyber attacks and EMP bursts in early 2017. In their annual report to the president, which is odd in itself. More than a few blackouts and fires have been suspicious with reasons unanswered. Some of the U.S. largest cities have been hit with such incidents after the DHS report. Even some countries such as Venezuela have been hit with blackouts. Most of these incidents are believed to be caused by cyber attacks, either by the U.S., Russia, or China. Even the U.S. has been blamed for experimenting with infrastructure cyber attacks on its own country for practice. This is Manhattan after a blackout occurred on July the 13th, 2019, where 72,000 people went without power for five hours in West Manhattan. The fire department responded to reports of a fire in a manhole in Manhattan that was said to be the cause of the blackout. That's also what was reported by the news and fire department. Mayor Bill de Blasio also tweeted that the original cause for the outage was due to a fire from a transformer from a manhole where it said flames were shooting out. An overwhelming amount of fire trucks and police responded to the incident, blocking off roads and assisting in traffic. This video was taken while the power was off and is where it was said that the transformer fire occurred. A manhole cover can be seen cordoned off by orange traffic cones with tape around them. There was a huge presence of police and fire trucks. As you can see, there is no scorch marks from a fire that can be seen around the manhole. There isn't a single utility vehicle that belongs to Con Ed in sight, not even an NYC Public Works vehicle. This is a video of the instant the power was restored. By 9 p.m., most of the electricity had been restored except for a few blocks, which was said to be back up by midnight that night. Con Edison had this to say about what caused the outage. Equipment, inspected the other equipment to identify any, any obvious um, uh, abnormalities, and now we have, uh, we have started the restoration process. And the very next day, Con Ed said this in the New York Times. Con Ed can't explain what caused the Manhattan blackout, but Con Ed just said that they fixed abnormalities. The New York Post article says Con Edison has yet to figure out why a large swath of Manhattan's west side was plunged into darkness by the blackout that lasted more than five hours on Saturday night. A Con Edison spokesman blamed the blackout on a disruption on the transmission side. Officials initially suspected a manhole fire that affected an underground transformer, but said there's no evidence of a fire at this point. So it's a mystery outage that came from nowhere? Was it an equipment failure? A cyber attack? A lone hacker? What if it was all three? There is something odd about all this. And once again, at the beginning of this whole thing, we're talking about 74, 73, rather, thousand customers without power on West End. All of the lights were out. You could not see in any of the buildings. They were completely dark. No one was able to see into any buildings, huh? Is the location of the blackout odd? Maybe so. What about a particular person in that location? Would that make the mystery blackout odd? The mystery blackout also included a few other streets and locations just outside this box that no one mentioned. What about Jeffrey Epstein's $77 million mansion just outside the outage area? It also lost power along with a few other streets outside the blackout area. Would it be odd if the Manhattan Metropolitan Correctional Center that's just outside the blackout area lost power? Because this facility is currently holding Jeffrey Epstein, who was arrested on child trafficking charges just a few days ago. But why does it matter? Epstein is just an elitist who was busted for child trafficking again. 
Jeffrey Epstein has been part of a conspiracy theory where he and very powerful elite and celebs were in the business of doing bad things to children at various properties owned by Epstein, especially an island known as Pedo Island. There is the possibility that a snatch or escape attempt was made at the correctional facility, or maybe even something was happening at Epstein's mansion during the blackout. But why and who would want to snatch him up or help him escape? Plenty of people. Not only does he hold all the info on the countless celebrities and elites who made trips to Epstein's child getaways, it also seems that Epstein has been working for an intelligence agency as a spy for some government. His partner in crime, Hillslane Maxwell, if that's how you say it, a British elitist who has also been accused of helping Epstein traffic children, her father, Robert Maxwell. Robert Maxwell is a media mogul turned spy. British counterintelligence reported that Robert Maxwell was a spy for the KGB and most likely Mossad, the Israeli intelligence agency. The proof that he was a spy? Epstein's first child trafficking charge was in Florida. As I said, he got off easy. At the time, Alexander Ocasta was the prosecuting attorney for that case. He is now the labor secretary. After Epstein's second arrest of trafficking charges, questions were raised about Ocasta's lenient deal of Epstein's first charges back in 2004. Vicki Ward, an investigative journalist, asked Ocasta to shed light on the deal that was made between him and Epstein when he was Florida's U.S. attorney. He'd cut the non-prosecution deal with one of Epstein's attorneys because he had been told to back off, that Epstein was above his pay grade. I was told Epstein belonged to intelligence and to leave it alone. He told his interviewers in the Trump transition who evidently thought that that was a sufficient answer and went ahead and hired Acosta. So Acosta, according to himself, backed off on prosecuting Epstein back in 2007, despite the possession of ample evidence proving his guilt, because he belonged to intelligence. Whose intelligence exactly? Enter Epstein's partner and her spy father that worked for the Russian KGB and Mossad's stated by British counterintelligence. Robert Maxwell. It's odd that there was no fire or no official cause to the Manhattan blackout that just so happened to surround Epstein's mansion and the maximum security facility he was in. So do you think the outage was an attempt from some intelligence agency or hitman to collect or silence Epstein? Maybe. What happened at his mansion while the city was blacked out? Was this mansion rummaged through by someone looking for something? Maybe behind a hidden door or secret hiding spot? Is it possible that the blackout had anything to do with Epstein at all? Tell me what you think in the comments. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Disclosure TV. Before I go, let me show you this. It's an article from New York Magazine from 2002 from an interview with Donald Trump. I've known Jeff for 15 years. Terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are, are on the younger side. No doubt about it, Jeffrey enjoys his social life.